since they announced all the changes to um, the benefit system um, mm -hmm. through the emergency budget in 2010, um, we've become immersed in the whole issue of uh, where the changes are and what the changes are mm -hmm. to the benefit system and how it affects different groups of people. Mm -hmm. All the government documentation doesn't include anything to do with places, where, what, why some areas might be more affected than others. They just talk about the national picture, so it gives a sort of, it gives the impression that it's, um, that you know, there's X amount of money that will be saved. It doesn't. It doesn't explain that actually that's not going to be evenly distributed across the country. Mm -hmm. It's going to be particularly some parts of the areas of the country that will be affected far worse than others. Anybody who looks at the distribution of claimants across the country, what you'll find is, is that they're particularly concentrated in the older industrial parts of Britain. So it's the parts of Britain, uh, the Welsh Valleys, the North East, the North West around Merseyside, Central Belt of Scotland. Mm -hmm. um, so if you mapped all of the just benefit claimants, mm -hmm. uh, out of work benefit claimants and work and age benefit claimants, you would find that there's a very distinctive geography in and around that older part of industrial Britain. And if you look in and around the South East and the Eastern in, outside of London, it, you get big swathes where there's l very minimal levels of benefit claimants mm -hmm. and that in some sections reflects the strength of the labour markets in those areas mm -hmm. and it reflects the strength of the economy in those areas. In the older industrial bits of Britain, in the coal fields, in the steel areas uh, where they lost all the jobs, in male, male manual jobs in the 80s and 90s, there's still large numbers of people on sickness related benefits in those areas. Mm -hmm. So in some senses because that's where the benefit claimants are, when you do the cuts that affect benefit claimants, that's where the cuts come, that's where the financial loss comes, because mm -hmm. it's where the claimants are. If you plot all the local authorities in Britain by the index of multiple deprivation, um, and you plot how much the financial loss is from the welfare reform, you'll find a very, you know, the scatter will run around a very straight line, which is the more deprived an area is, local authority is, the more um, financial loss there will be to an area. Mm -hmm. The areas which are being hit the hardest are the areas that are least able to be able to um, provide the jobs and get people back into work at the moment. Mm -hmm. So in a city such as Sheffield it will mean the equivalent of £173 million a year less in the local economy mm -hmm. to do with benefit claimants receiving that lease. It seems more likely that if uh, you're removing more from the areas which are least, which are struggling already. That is going to make the disparities between the more prosperous south and the uh, poorer north uh, more extreme over time. Mm -hmm.